One of the most feared and well-known tanks of the Second World War has to be the German Tiger tank. This heavy tank is renowned for its large amount of armour, ability to withstand most of all the Allies' firepower and also for possessing a powerful gun that could knock out all Allied tanks. But why was it so feared? Let's have a look back in history. Remember to support the channel, please subscribe. The Tiger tank was massive, it weighed around 57 tonnes and seemed to have everything. Firepower, armour and it was fairly agile despite its weight. First entering service in 1942, it didn't gain much notoriety until 1943 when they began to appear in larger numbers. Most famously used in the Battle of Kursk, the Tiger tank showed a huge difference between Soviet and German armaments production. The Soviets had their T-34 tanks with their sloped armour and 75mm gun, however they could not penetrate the front armour of a Tiger tank until they were basically at around point blank range or 100 metres away. A Tiger however could knock out a T-34 with its 88mm gun from over a kilometre away. The vast open landscape of Russia would allow the Tiger to maintain superiority over the T-34 from a distance. The Western Allies would encounter the Tiger tank in North Africa in 1943. They were used at the Battle of Kasserim Pass and the Tiger contributed to heavy losses in the US 1st Armoured Division. The M4 Sherman suffered the same fate as the T-34 with their guns being unable to knock out a Tiger. All medium tanks were easy targets for the Tiger tank. Also another point is that when the Tiger came out, the Allied anti-tank weaponry wasn't too great. The Allied standard anti-tank gun was the 37mm and 57mm guns and these were only really effective if they caught a Tiger on its side armour. The Soviets larger 76mm field gun fared better but the standard 45mm gun needed to be upgraded to fight these tanks. As the war went on however, the Allies were adapting their tactics and decided upon new ways to take out the feared Tiger. When the Tiger II arrived on the battlefield in 1944, it had a huge amount of armour on it. The frontal armour was 150mm thick and the slope of this allowed it to provide almost 200mm of armour thickness. It had an upgraded gun, however its weight ballooned to around 68 tonnes and this caused a horrific effect on its mobility and also reliability. During this time, the armaments industry in Germany was already suffering and only 480 Tiger IIs were made. The fearsome reputation of the Tiger intimidated most Allied soldiers who came across them. Some would use this word to describe most tanks and many of the soldiers would confuse the Tiger with a Panzer IV as they look relatively similar and are rather huge too. On the Western Front, the Tiger tank gained an infamous reputation too during the Battle of villiers bocage Following the Normandy landings, the British attempted to improve their position by exploiting a gap in the German defences west of Caen. Here, they would come up against the famous German panzer ace Michael Wittmann. He would go on to destroy 14 tanks, 2 anti-tank guns and around 15 transport vehicles in around 15 minutes. This event and skill led to propaganda on both the German and Allied side spreading fear about the Tiger tank. There is no doubt that the average Allied soldier or Russian soldier would worry about the Tiger tank. Upon the Soviet victory at the Battle of Kursk, the Russians would cry out, the Tigers were burning, showing the importance that the Tiger had. Tiger tanks however weren't infallible. The improvement to the Sherman tank by up-armouring it to become the Sherman Firefly would allow the Allies to fare better against them. Even Wittmann would be killed in his Tiger when it was hit by a Firefly's round. With the right opportunity, a Tiger and a King Tiger could be killed. All the Allies had to do was exploit their chances. Overwhelming them with anti-tank fire and also using anti-tank mines could help. Aiming for its tracks or shooting at the engine compartment usually had a degree of success too. Also the maintenance on the Tigers was a huge negative too as they took a while to repair on the battlefield if there was an issue and also were prone to breaking down. The reality that an allied soldier would meet a Tiger was also quite low. There were only around 1300 Tiger 1s and over 400 Tiger 2s produced so they had a greater chance of coming across a Stug 3 and so on. The legacy of the Tiger though still lives on today and you can see the only one in the world that still runs at the Bovington Tank Museum. Once again thank you for watching. To support the channel please make sure to subscribe. Once again thank you for watching.